Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Soberoff. Welcome to our series, Investigate Fortitude, where we dive deeper into the science behind the show Fortitude on Pivot. I'm joined by EcoHealth Alliance's president, Dr. Peter Daszak, and associate vice president, Dr. John Epstein. Tonight, we're going to be discussing infectious diseases. Guys, thank you so much for being here and for joining me. I want to start off by showing a clip of Frank and Jules, who are um, going at each other a little bit about their sick son, Liam. Take a look. He was up three times through the night, and now he's got temperature. What is his temperature? Uh, I don't know. He's burning hot. So you haven't taken his temperature? No, but it's today. He's burning up. Are you asleep, kiddo? I am. You're not well, son. So, Peter and John, your work at EHA puts you in contact with uh, new and emerging infectious diseases all the time. Do you find that people are often unprepared to deal, basically, with the implications of infectious disease? Oh, definitely. I mean, even if in our own families, when we get our kids get sick with something that looks like the flu, we're not sure how serious it is right at the start. And often, the very bad diseases start off looking like flu or looking like a bad cold. And then if you don't do anything quick enough, they develop and it's too late. A terrific example of that is the current Ebola outbreak where people started getting sick and infecting other people and didn't recognize what this was. And it was months of Ebola spreading from person to person before the international public health community recognized that this was an Ebola outbreak, which was plenty of time for this to get a head start and become the largest outbreak of Ebola we'd ever seen in history. I mean, we, we all worry about Ebola and it's a shocking, horrible disease, but influenza, first of all, it kills more people in an average year, just the seasonal outbreak of the flu kills more people than Ebola does. Um, but in the big outbreaks, every now and again you get these pandemics of flu, they're incredible. You know, uh, more people died in the First World War of influenza than actually died of bullets. Wow. See, but so what do you do if you are Liam's mom, Jules, and he does look like he has flu-like symptoms, but he's very tired, he's not waking up. Do you wait or, or do you freak out that this could be something worse? Influenza in the United States uh, can kill anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000 people, and it varies from season to season. But the real important thing here is that it's a vaccine-preventable disease. I didn't get my flu vaccine this year. Is it too yeah, late to get it? Yeah. You can still get it. in the middle of flu yeah. season, and it's yeah. bad this year. Yeah. Um, thank you so much <laughs> again so. for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank Cheers. you. You can join the conversation on Twitter about tonight's episode using hashtag Fortitude. And to learn more and to take part in the solutions around these issues, go to investigatefortitude.com. We're posting actions, more videos, articles about these topics. Big thank you to Dr. Dashak and to Dr. Epstein, along with everybody at EcoHealth Alliance. Be sure to watch Fortitude on Pivot, new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m.